All right. Good afternoon, early evening, guys. See, I have a couple of boxes here, and I got a bag from Best Buy. Well, these are my speakers. I'm going to be doing a full speaker replacement of the car. <clears throat> I'm not going to change amp or, or bypass. We can't really change amp, but you can bypass and go into your own amps or, or other things. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm putting in the car. Uh, some of the parts you might need. Uh, some of these parts are generally basic. So we're going to start with some of the parts from Best Buy, just so you know. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with the main grills. The grills on this car, uh, at least not grills, but the um, speaker rings that you're going to need. I've got the Metras. These are the Metras right here. We're going to lay them down on the floor, make it easier. Look at right here. Look at the Metras. They are the 82, 82 7803s. Uh, they're essentially for 98 and 07, um, Accords. Uh, we need two pairs. The two pairs are basically going to be for, um, both sides, um, of the, uh, driver's side door. So we got two of those there. Boom. Yes, that's right. I'm throwing them on the floor. Why? Because I'm rich and I can be a, I can throw my stuff. Although the rest of you got to beg and suffer with your little EXs and LXs. And I got the touring. That makes me better. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm better. The next important thing are the Honda speaker harnesses. This is Metro Part 72, 7800. These are pretty darn important. Now, the main reason I'm getting these, uh, obviously, is so we don't have to cut any wires. Uh, I'm going to be changing. They're essentially, oh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten speakers in the Honda. So they're two per in there, so I got like five packages of these guys. Wow, look at all those. Uh, oh, that's not even all of them, is it? Look at that, I'm trying to shortchange myself. All those, that's to make sure I can change all my speakers. Now, the main speakers you got are in your front doors. These are for the uh, touring. Uh, the LX is, uh, the EX is uh, similar, except it doesn't have the sub in the center and the speakers are a little lower end and they don't have as much wattage. Uh, they do send the team to buzz a lot less. I think it's just too much power for the uh, ones that came with the uh, touring. But basically, you've got uh, tweeters, uh, two, twe uh, two sets of tweeters, a set of tweeters in your doors. Um, you'll notice there are no rings for those. Those are gonna have to be custom made, uh, custom put in there. So essentially, you're gonna like, have to hot glue them with a lot of uh, sound dampening material. Uh, the rings uh, that I showed you over there, uh, those guys <clears throat> will make it possible to put my new speakers in, in place of what's in there right now. Um, I knew the name of the company that makes those speakers, but they're not ones that most people would know. Uh, but basically, they're six and a half or six and three quarter speakers, uh, and then up to one inch uh, tweeters in the door. So you got the doors. Uh, this would be same for the uh, Touring and the uh, EX model. You have two main speakers in the doors, uh, lower doors. Those are six and six and a half or six and three quarters. It doesn't really make a difference. Either size will fit in there. Uh, and then you have your tweeters on the top of your doors. Uh, on your back deck, uh, on the EX and the Touring, you have two uh, main drivers. Those are also six and a half and two small tweeters. Uh, that will give you uh, essentially eight speakers. With the, um, with the Touring model, we add two more speakers. We have a center sub, which is sitting on the back deck. I believe that's eight inches. And then you've got a three and a half inch uh, center uh, that's right in the front. Uh, in fact, it's very obnoxious, but it, it works. It works. So you basically can do a lot of this for your, for your um, EX model if you want. I have the measurements done for the sp uh, speakers are running at 4 ohms, uh, including the subwoofer, uh, which took a little looking into. So right now, we're going to get into the unboxing. Uh, I've decided to go with kickers. Uh, two main reasons. A, kickers can handle a lot of volume. Uh, they're very well known for handling volume without failing. Number two... <laughs> I have an accommodation, so I got a special deal on the kickers. So here we are taking it out. What we have here are the kicker three and a half inch standard coaxial cable. There was only these were the only choices I have. These are the KSC 350s. Uh, obviously, I'll only be using one of these. This is going to go under the dash. Unfortunately, under the dash, we'll have to have a special mount. There is no mount available. So we're going to put that puppy down. I'm trying to think of a better way to film this. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can bust everything. All right, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to see if I can find a better way to film this with me sitting on my ass on the floor taking things apart. So hang on tight. Okay, let's. here's hoping that this actually works. Um, 
I'm going to try to stay out of the film. I don't think you guys want to see my fat butt. Now, obviously, that first set of speakers are of no interest to your EX owners because the EX owners are not going to be uh, using a center speaker, so you don't need a speaker like that. The next speaker we've got is the rear sub. Uh, this is the COMPR 8-inch 4-ohm sub by Kicker. That's going to go in place of the current one that's in there that flabs like a bastard anytime you hit some serious bass. It's actually pretty good overall, but it does run into some troubles. And I want something that can handle the volume without any serious troubles. So that's what we're doing with that. Now, the big part of this stereo are the door speakers and the deck speakers, which are tweeters and drivers. For those, I'm going all out. These, let's see if I can get these into the frame. Well, these are also kickers. They're the QSS65. Oh, look at those. Wow. Those are heavy duty speakers. These are uh, their top of the line. They normally go for about four and a half for the pair. And they include a crossover. Now, I'm not going to be using the crossover. Uh, I might use the crossover in the future. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stereo that's built into the system itself. Uh, and I'm just going to hook these up. Uh, all the power ratings are perfectly fine. So the crossovers I will save. Uh, the tweeters obviously are going to have to be specially put in. Now, while these are all installed, I've got two pairs of these. Uh, one's going into the back decks, a pair going into back decks with the tweeters, and a pair going into the front doors. These are going to be the main sound of the system. Uh, plus, I'll have my own separate subwoofer, which I already you've already seen in my videos, uh, supplying extra super bass. Um, kind of going to mix it up. We're going to see how it works. That's basically all the parts that are really available. What I don't have here uh, that I'm going to use there is going to be some sound dampening material. Uh, we're going to put them behind the speakers, put them on the doors. We're going to put them uh, in areas of the trunk, try to keep uh, rattling down. Although I don't get that much rattle except from the actual plastics. Uh, but what I do uh, get is you can lose a lot of your mid-range due to uh, a lack of sound dampening. So that's part of what we're going to be doing there. So these puppies... These guys are super duper. That's not a bad uh, sub over there. It's a me it, it's a it's a medium medium end, but it's you know it's only eight inches. Uh, you know, God, I wish. Uh, but uh, you know that's it, it'll do pretty well, um, and and it'll replace what's in there. Foster, Foster. That's the name of the speakers in there. Of course, I'm gonna have a lot of speakers to sell afterwards. I don't think anyone's gonna be interested because well, everyone's under warranty. Their speakers blow up. Well, more than likely, Honda will just replace them. They're pretty cheap anyway. Uh, <laughs> Nobody's bought that other part that I offered for sale. Um, it was a little uh, little plaque <laughs> you put on your back bumper, uh, all the metal that says inside on it. It just doesn't look right on the red. It would look great probably on a white or or a uh, one of the silver uh, colored ones. So if anyone's interested, I'll give you a good deal on it. Um, you know, if anyone wants to see it, let me know. But this is basically this is a preview of what's happening. I I really want to film this being done. I just not probably not going to be able to. I might be able to get snippets here and there, because where I'm getting it done, I can't film. I'm not allowed to film. I'll be working most of the time anyway, but they're just not allowed to film. I might sneak some filming. You know, I'm not looking to cause any trouble for anybody, but I'd like you guys to see it as it's coming apart, give you an idea what it looks like. Uh, but unless there's one of you guys who want to come up here or near Maine who know how to do speakers and stuff, I don't know how to do this stuff. Uh, but who know how to hook things like this thing up. I mean, it's basically, it's just speaker changeovers, um, except there's going to have to be some custom work to get the tweeters and the center in, um, and also the uh, subwoofer, because there's no specific ring design uh, to uh, mount it. I don't think that's going to be hard. I think it's basically drilled directly in, put some sound dampening, it should be fine. But if there's anyone like that who can come up here and who wants to do it with me, we can work it together, we can film it, and I don't know, I'll take you out to eat. If you're a lady, I'll definitely take you out to eat. But of course, you guys have seen what I look like, so if you're a lady, you're probably going to stay as far away from from here as possible. You're, you're, you're smart. That's you're, that's smart. Uh, but if there's anyone who wants to come up, uh, who is in the main area, wants to come, and, we, and who really, you have to know what you're doing. Please, I don't want to destroy my baby. I love my Ruby. But we're going to try this first, and I'm going to give you an idea how it's going to sound by upgrading the speakers. These are significantly, like as I said, these kickers right here go for about $460 for the pair. So between the two sets of them, uh, that's like about $900 worth of speakers. Uh, obviously, I didn't pay that amount. I had, a, I had a, an accommodation. 
Um, so I'm going to see, you know, I'll let you know. But the whole intention is to let you know how it is once you do some dampening. Other people in the forums, uh, at least one other person, is a pro force. He did a lot of dampening. He didn't change his speakers, but he said dampening the system with, uh, with um, a dampening material. Um, it, it slips in my mind the name of it. Oh, my God, what's the matter? Well, I haven't slept much today. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, led to a great deal of increase in mid range. Uh, apparently, originally, he was talking about all these other stuff that he, you know, all these other speakers were put in, and I looked at the price of the speakers and I said, holy moly, this dude is hardcore. He's, 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 he's I'd have to mortgage the house for those speakers like that. But I think he came to his senses, and he said he's very, uh, he was happy. He sent some pictures up on the forum, uh, but pictures, I like video better. Video's better. Now, of course, this is kind of boring. Let me, let me at least pick this up so we can have some movement. Movement. Ooh, we go around. Movement. We want movement in the picture. Uh, but I'm going to let you know how much of a difference this makes in the sound. Uh, and whether it's worth it just changing out your speakers to get better sound. Again, all of this would work for EX owners. And for a sub, you could put a sub in your trunk and you could uh, slave off your rear speakers. Uh, they're probably going to have uh, most of the bass. You use uh, the bass speakers. You can slave a line right out. I would use an audio control amp. Uh, it's not a very, you know, it's only about two, uh, it's only about 300 watts, but that's really all you're really going to need. Um, put yourself like a 10 inch or 12 inch subwoofer in a box and run it through the audio amp. Uh, it, it can run off of, um, off of speaker inputs uh, and then plug that right into your uh, battery. Uh, not your hybrid battery, but the uh, main battery up front between, uh, <laughs> this between the passenger and the driver so it can explode and kill everybody. Uh, and, uh, and then hook it up to some kind of power source to make sure it turns off and on as you, uh, turn the power off and on in the car. Um, also, I might be giving you an idea of what it sounds different, to, uh, turning off the, uh, the sound management system. I, I keep forgetting the name for it, but basically it, it, it tries to keep the sound level all across. It, it helps with, the uh, with sound outside road noise, it has microphones. I forgot the name of it, but somebody already has put up a video online. Very hard to see it. Um, I mean, the poor guy's by himself, so I, I know what that's like trying to film by yourself. Uh, that's pretty easy to unplug. I'm going to try it with and without it. I'm going to try to let you know how this works. As I said, EX owners, this is still a good video for you because things like these kicker speakers right here, that's the same speakers that would work in your car. Not as much power would be pushing through them, but they still sound good. Um, and uh, th those would replace your main uh, main eight speakers. Those would be the eight speakers in the car. Uh, and you can get significantly better sound out of these. <clears throat> and if you decide, if I don't like the amp in the system, because the, uh, the DSP in that system is horrendously screechy, uh, I can always bypass the amplifier through with an audio control uh, unit and run my own amps. I really don't want to do that if I can help it. <clears throat> Even though I can get better sound, it'll draw more power from the car. All right, this damn video is getting long. Uh, I, I, again, I'm, I'm, I, I can't stop talking. I told you, I got nobody else to talk to, just you guys. I hope uh, this shows some interest. You guys can look and you'll know what parts to order. Again, these parts right down here, the same parts you would use in your EX, probably in the LX model too. Uh, although the LX will have significantly less power also to push uh, the speakers, uh, but they would probably still work. Um, again, the crossovers will still be available. I'll use those if I ever have to switch to a different uh, amplifier. And I'm going to let you guys know, uh, the install's not due until like the end of April. So we've got a little ways before it. This is a preview. All right, guys. That's the end of this video. It's the end of the video. And uh, I'm going to set it up. And if you guys have any questions, comments, opinions, attitudes, uh, you know, Verdier, you're annoying. Uh, yes, I know that. But, uh, you know, Verdier, you're, you're, you're the god of insights. Uh, well, that's not a very nice thing to say either. But it is nice. Well, no, not really. Or, or, or Verdier, as I've said before, if you're any ladies out there, Verdier, I want your body. I, I want to have your love child. By all means, <laughs> please get in touch. <laughs> But you guys take care, uh, all kidding aside. And I hope this stuff gives you some ideas. Uh, obviously, there's a second pair of those, but I didn't want to pull that. It's stupid. I mean, you've already seen it. It's there. Take care, guys, and I hope you enjoyed your videos. Take care. Bye-bye.